Hello and welcome to our final installment for our Black Paper Moon characters. Last but certainly not least is Margaret Bishop. Now she was a character that really snuck off on me and surprised me. Now I know you might be thinking, well Vincent, you created the characters, how's that possible? But she was the last character, she was sort of the hardest one for me to pin down. And I think part of that is because I really wanted to make sure she stood out, not only among these three other characters, but also from other characters I designed. Now, that's a growing thing that you'll see for me as I create new characters, but it is really important to me that I don't make characters that are too similar to each other, and unless it's very intentional. But with Margaret, I, I, I noticed that Bloody Mary was our other female character, and Bloody Mary is someone who... Uh, is very petite and cutesy, but very uh, bloodthirsty underneath that. So I wanted Margaret to sort of be the opposite of that. So Margaret's very matured, very uh, tall, and very uh, smart and studious, and carries herself more sternly instead of playfully like Mary. But underneath that, um, you know, she might have a bit more to her character, you know. So Margaret is someone who's very smart, straight-A student, remembers everything she reads, very good academically, but whenever she went to graduate, she felt the pressure of society, her parents, everything about her, so she just kind of went to run away, and then she essentially found what would be hags that were practicing um, sorcery, and they trained her in the dark arts, where she became very adept and powerful, only to then realize that they were sacrificing children, something that she was not okay with. She ran away, barely surviving the conflict, and basically almost died. So after that experience, she sort of learned some things from it and decided to go to Umberwood Academy to use her forces of uh, her magical dark arts and use them for a force of good. She's turning this thing around and she wants to actually be uh, a positive force of light when everything is surrounding in more and more darkness. So Margaret has uh, quite an interesting story to tell and I hope that you check that out and that you like her character. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to learn more, check out the links in the description below. And we'll catch you next time. Stay awesome. Oh, and real quick, I needed to bring up that she has a broom rifle. So I'm super excited about this because I've not seen this in anything. I'm not saying I'm the first to create it. I have not looked it up at all. I probably should have before recording this, but I know it's something that I've never done. The broom rifle, the same broom that Margaret rides as a witch would do and rides around to fly, uh, she also uses as her sniper rifle. So I'm super excited for that. Um, she also is one of our few characters that has glasses and orange hair and a lot of other things about her that just makes her design unique. So I just really ended up liking this design a lot and I hope that you did too. Anyways, I'm going to cut back out and uh, we'll catch you next time. Whoosh. What is up? If you are a fan of anime and tabletop games, then be sure to check out our card games, tabletop role-playing games, and even our manga. We have a lot of fun stuff over there for you to check out on our website, VindicateEntertainment.com. We even have a brand new tabletop role-playing game, Black Paper Moon. Check it out, and we'll see you there.